welcome to another edition of Smart Chat and your first edition of Miami Dolphins football recap. Fins up, everyone. Now, uh, I told you in a few videos ago that, depending where I am, that these videos might come in a little bit far and few between. We're already going into second week, and I'm just making my first thoughts and analysis recap from week one with the Miami Dolphins. But nonetheless, here it is. This following week should be on time. The Miami Dolphins, uh, and they open up this season against the Redskins, 17 to 10 win. Now, I don't know about you, but I thought that um, we were going to blow out the Redskins. Cousins as your quarterback. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but it was a strong fight. Uh, Washington proved to be a formidable opponent, obviously. I think really what it came down to with the Dolphins, I think they're battling, battling their more than, they're battling their own demons more than anything. Um, the first half, um, you know, the, te the mistakes that the team made, um, you know, were reminiscent of those that hurt them back in 2014, those that hurt us last year. But we were able to rally strong second uh, quarter touchdown, you know, in the last second uh, by, uh, by Tannehill and uh, Jarvis Landry punt return, that kid's juice money. Uh, it allowed us to defeat the uh, Redskins and we just escaped narrowly by this much. Um, but can't really, really hard to say, you know, just making a, a, an assumption from week one, but it seems that uh, we've made uh, some signs of improvements. Some signs. And uh, just want to give you my uh, analysis from uh, week one as far as uh, that 17 to 10 um, game. You know, as far as uh, grades, uh, Tannehill, if I were to have to give him a grade, Tannehill would probably be a B plus. Uh, Tannehill in the first half was not really given much of a chance to succeed. Missed two throws and looked like he needed time to settle down. Obviously nervous. First game, nerves. Uh, he seemed to have done that by the time he got the ball in a two-minute drill. Um, you know, driving the offense down the field. And uh, eventually hitting uh, Richard uh, Matthews for a game-saving touchdown. 10-7 is a much better halftime score, obviously, than a 10-0 shutout. And yeah, no shit, right, Tom? Um, and Tannehill, he found a rhythm in the second half. Dropped a perfect pass into Jordan Cameron and completed, I think, multiple plays on third down to keep drives alive. Despite, you know, one or two. Uh, missed opportunities, bad decisions to throw the ball for a loss to Jarvis Landry on the goal line. I think Tannehill still played well. Um, you know, having a position as quarterback, I think it's very susceptible to a game day nerves. So uh, we're going to give him the slide. We're going to hope that he's uh, his calmer, much poised now. It's that the second game against the uh, Jacksonville. Uh, you know, running backs probably give him a uh, B minus. I think the top player from the running backs was Lamar Miller. Um, we in that first half we weren't able to generate anything. Uh, couldn't control the clock, and uh, we're beaten down in time of possession. I think we really need to control the clock a lot more. Run it. Obviously, that's where you need to start. Um, our runners they really didn't look like they were uh, decisive enough. And we're not showing the quickness that they uh, needed to make the play in, um, in this offense. Second half was another uh, story. Uh, in that second half, the Dolphins needed uh, a play on the ground. Miller was there. Damon Williams and the backups provided no help for the offense, though. But when it was time to seal the game, Lamar Miller helped Miami lock up the win. Uh, hopefully, as the season goes along, showing more carries. Um... I just uh, feel that he was underutilized uh, versus the Redskins. Wide receiver, top player obviously has to be Jarvis Landry. Now Jarvis Landry, um, they, they, him and Cameron, Jordan Cameron for that matter, they, uh, they carried their weight. Jordan Cameron, thank goodness I have him on my fantasy team, wasn't able to get Jarvis, uh, uh, wasn't able to get Jarvis Landry, but I have Devontae Parker. So hopefully we see things from Devontae. 
uh, Jordan Cameron, Jarvis Landry, and uh, Rashard Matthews all carried their weight, obviously. Helped Brian Tannehill produce enough in the second half to come out with a win. Jarvis Landry was especially dominant. Uh, crucial third quarter play, which he fought for a uh, first down, and then later in the game returned a punt for a touchdown. Matthews also played well and had a positive outing despite one uh, crucial drop on the second down. Jordan Cameron strong afternoon and was on the receiving end of the Tannehill's, I think, best pass of the day. Um, gotta hope that Jordan Cameron could stay healthy because he's uh, he always has concussion problems, so keep an eye out on that. Offensive line, uh, we we'll give him a C. Pouncey, uh, Brandon Albert were your top players. Uh, I think we did a good job uh, keeping uh, Tannehill upright. Uh, I have no major complaints about the way they played this afternoon, uh, considering we entered the season with the belief that they could be Miami's biggest issue in the offensive line. Dallas Thomas was himself uh, at times, allowing defenders to blow by him for uh, sacks and tackles for loss but he was actually able to uh, hold his own as a rookie right guard um, as was a rather rookie right guard uh, Jameel Douglas he had a brief injury scare Brandon, Allett, Brandon uh, Albert returned to the game played fairly well for Miami calling off the uh, ACL tear so you know just some of my grades here um, what I think, uh, you know, we need to look forward to is another win, hopefully, this week coming up. Um, again, I think we're very lucky, and not very lucky, and lucky in the sense of we should take this to an advantage that we have an easy stretch early in the season. I, it seems just from the game one that we'll take some time to gel and develop chemistry, obviously especially on the defensive line. Everyone has off days and unfortunately it seemed like the, um, you know, like the pass rushers couldn't produce uh, against Washington. Luckily, it didn't cost us early in the season. We were victorious, obviously. Ugly, sloppy, hard to watch sometimes, but it was a win. This week we're facing the Jacksonville Jaguars and uh, we could, you know, we have to hope that we can find more consistency with the pass rush, linebackers, and offensive play. Obviously, nothing feels better than an opening day win, no matter how ugly, no matter how ugly it was. Um, happy to see a win. So look for improvements. You know, don't make don't make uh, rash judgments just based off of week one. It's still early, but very good win for us. Not a very good win, but a, a good win for us. We needed a win. Nothing like starting the season off with a victory. So until next time, time. fins up.